Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to another out of the theater reaction. So this video almost didn't happen. I was going to do TikTok, I don't know, a uh, little TMI. I had some dental work done. I couldn't feel this whole bottom of my jaw and I was like not talking right. So I was like, you know what, we'll just do a video tomorrow. But no, it's got okay. I got the feeling and we're like, we're going to do this. Uh, another little kind of TMI, well not really TMI, but like... This video is a little bit important to me, just because fun little fact, Shazam, the first Shazam, Shazam that came out in 2019, was the first official uh, movie review that I did for my channel. So that's exciting. Uh, don't go watch it because it's like cringeworthy, but, but it is. So it's just like a, and like a fun little video, and I really, really wanted to do this officially on YouTube versus the, the TikTok that I've been doing. Again, these are just our quick little thoughts even though i kind of rambled there a little bit again uh fury of the gods we have um helen Mir, we have rachel ziegler we have lucy lou let me some lucy lou my recording yes okay and uh yeah so the they've got one when they're not growing up well yeah they're older right they're just kind of living their lives and trying to figure out this whole superhero stuff while they're still teenagers and kind of coming into like the adult 18 year olds and then we got like baby adults uh with mary uh, we got Darla. She's still small. And I really love how they still kind of kept her innocent. Uh, given this day and age. But she still has a very innocent, you know. Okay, so. They gave us a comment. <laughs> That's probably not a good, not a good thing right there, you guys. Right, I don't know what my thoughts are. But I liked it. It was, mm -hmm. it was very interesting and different from the first one. Mm -hmm. I like the first one better. Me too. I like the first one better. It's like it's a little too much, but I still too enjoyed. long, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it went on to way too long. I still enjoyed it. Like he's still trying to figure out who he is, still trying to keep family together. He's just they just made it with different. You could say I like the unicorn in there. Mm. Very interesting unicorn. Hey, it's Wait, funny. is that a spoiler? That's a unicorn. That's a spoiler. It's a uh, monster. Yeah, that's a unicorn. They don't know a unicorn was gonna be in there. I did get emotional. Yeah, me too. I'm like, <sighs> very cute, but I don't know what I was expecting from it because the trailer did give out yeah, like it, pretty much everything. Every, everything, yeah. yeah it's, like even um, except just the emotional part. So yeah. that was a nice little thingy. Cause they even gave out the the what's it called, the cameo in the in. I mean, I knew she was gonna be in there. Yeah. Okay, uh, so yeah, the first part definitely is better. Um, I like the relationship. Obviously, it's been like two years with the family and everything like that. It's great. But it was just, it was a nice movie that was too long. Definitely could have cut back on a lot of stuff. And there are two in credit scenes. And I think that we got a little bit more of the kids this time around too. Don't you feel? Because I feel like the first time it was just Billy and the other guy. I forgot his Please. name. Oh, Freddie, yeah. Freddy. And this time, you know, we get like more of them kind of doing their thing. But uh but yeah, I mean it was it was an okay time. It was it was fine. It, I, I did kind of catch myself like Big Judy, I'm so glad that we didn't end up watching it in IMAX because otherwise I would have been like, oh my god, like so uncomfortable. Gonna... Yeah, our the um seats. yeah, the IMAX seats at our local theater are so uncomfortable, so we usually always do Dolby. I did want to watch it in IMAX. But we ended up um, doing like an earlier showing and the earlier showing with the Dolby. And I was like, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. Bring your kids. I think they'll enjoy it. A nice. Well, I don't know. Because there are like some real kind of like brutal moments there. I mean, you don't see like blood or anything. But like there's stuff going through people, you know. So and like people getting kind of like I was. It's a little. It's a little bit too much, well, right? The kids that were in there seem fine. Yeah, they did seem fine. If you haven't already, give this video a like. Subscribe, share, comment. If you've seen Shazam, Fury of the Gods, what did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you, like it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Let us know that in the comments. What are you giving? I'm giving it a medium-ish. I'm like trying to think. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna like a small medium, <laughs> a, a, a small combo, like a small popcorn with the slushy. We had incorporated a slushy like at some point. Yeah, it's not great, but. It's a pretty good, decent time. I don't think you'll regret it. Nice little movie. Come Saturday morning, Sunday morning, catch your matinee with children, make it a family night, 
at family day, you know, and then you'll be good. And then you'll get a nice little comic book. It's cute. Yeah, if you come to AMC. Um, that's it from us today. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys at Confessions. Bye.